In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses, Why have you brought us up here from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph servants, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned against complaining against the Lord in you. Pray the Lord to take the servants away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer in me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from the heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that when that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many became, began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Do you think Jesus got frustrated at the Pharisees? They were a Jewish sect who very much disagreed with Jesus, and he was always getting in arguments with them. But even the very things he was trying to tell them, they didn't even seem to be listening or remembering at all. It's so interesting in today's Gospel, he is saying that he's going away soon, 
course, we know that means the crucifixion and the resurrection, and that they will die in their sins. And, but, you know, this hints to him dying and passing away, and, and they know this, and they pick up on this, but they kind of focus on that fact instead of the fact that they will die in their sins. That is what they should be focusing on. That's what should perk them up. But instead, they're like, oh, how's Jesus going to die? Where is he going to go? Is he going to kill himself? They're focusing on the wrong thing here. He's trying to awaken them in their sin, and they're just not listening. And later on, they ask Jesus, who are you? I, I don't know how at that point he didn't just get angry at them and yell. Because this whole time, he has been telling them exactly who he is, and they have not been listening. But instead, he patiently explained to them who he was once again. And actually, miraculously, some of them came to believe. That's amazing. But this whole episode today really makes us call to mind, should make us ask ourselves, have we been listening to Jesus has there been anything that he's been telling us recently, anything that he's been putting on our hearts that we have not been listening to? Sometimes we know what we're supposed to do. We know what the Lord is calling us to do, but we're still resisting. Are we listening to Jesus? Or do we need to come to conversion like the Pharisees have today? It's good for us to spend honest time in prayer, which is uncomfortable to do, and to say yes, to not be afraid, and to follow the Lord and do what He is asking of us. Let us lift our hearts and minds to God as we present our petitions. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord that national and international leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have turned from God may receive Him from the grace of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. That this Lenten season may be a time of growing in the gifts that God has given us. Let us pray to the Lord. That all those who have died may be united with Christ in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, hear and graciously accept the prayers we offer you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. 
since by your wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once I presented, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with France, our Pope, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every, every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should receive you under my roof, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself, says the Lord. Active Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.